that's when I see some other roads, no shit. Yeah, I don't got time for no. Hi guys, it's Alpha here, and it's today. Today's video I'll show you guys how to make that amazing build-up slash kill effect. Most of this tutorial will be absolutely without plugins. It's only one thing you will have to have some plugins for. I'll link them in the description so you can download them absolutely for free. But if you don't have plugins, I will show you guys how to do it without plugins. Two timestamps will be in the description as usual. But basically, other than that, let's get right into that tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is to time wrap the clip and sync it up with the music. I've already done that, so hopefully you guys know how to do that. But if you don't know how to time wrap a clip, basically I'll link a tutorial on that in the description. Basically what you're doing then is you actually need to start doing the kill effect. How you do that is you need to go to the shot of impact. So it's the fact that you can see the numbers appear, so it's right here. Press Ctrl B to split the clip right there, then the second part is split there. Just hover over it, go to the color tab. And what you're going to do here is basically go to notes if you can't see, just press notes, press on this O1, basically press on this O1, press R, Y, of this should pop up, then you press on O3 and go to fast frame, and then you need to go to this lock rectangle with piles and go to this what I've done here and make it to node sizing, that's very important. Go to fast frame again, keep from the corrector free, that's very important to me. Then basically drag the zoom as much as you feel good. So in my opinion, this looks pretty cool. You can always play around with this. I feel like this looks really cool in my opinion. So then basically you need to go to the right and by just go for the feeling where you want everything to disappear. So I feel like somewhere here will look good. About 60 to 50 frames I guess looks good, but I usually just go for the feeling. Like I feel it will look good if it disappears here. Yeah. Basically I already keyframed it, so we can quickly just go to zoom again and make it to one. And you'll see that it becomes like this. And if you go back here, you should see that there. It looks really cool in my opinion. But now basically we're going to start doing the effect. How we're going to do that is we're going to go to effect, drag in an adjustment clip. Make sure that you don't make it short. It's very important. Then basically just drag the whole clip and make it so it ends on the shot of impact. So we're, we split the clip. And as I said, make sure that you don't make it short there. Hover over it, go to Fusion tab. And basically down in the description, I should have left a good drive folder with the preset. Basically down with that preset, it should be called Best RGB Builder. Basically just drag and drop it inside there. And basically the only thing you will have to have for this uh, preset is the uh, software plugins. Just make this RGB, but if you don't have it, just delete the software drop. And it will look good, but not as good, but it will work. But I have software products, I will link them in the description as I said. But basically if you watch, you see that all the keyframes are at the end. And now basically you can make it shorter from the beginning if you want. And right click on the clip, press the cache. Uh, playback, make it to uh, render cache to smart. And basically, so basically, yeah, I see guys, when this line becomes fully blue, it should not last. So. Basically like that, it looks pretty cool, you can play around with the keyframes if you want, maybe make it start sooner or later, you can decide, but in my opinion this was the best for the phone. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it a lot if you drop it a like and a sub. And that, see you guys in the next tutorial, bye!